One element of every modern U.S. election campaign is the presence of hecklers on the campaign trail. But this year, they've been more prevalent than usual. And I look forward to campaigning with Rick Lazio. You see them and hear their calls. Great thing about America is a man gets to express his opinion. Hecklers. And with another political campaign season in full swing, hecklers are being spotted all over the place. Former U.S. President Barack Obama, who was no stranger to heckling during his time in office, was recently interrupted multiple times while campaigning for Democrats in Florida. He responded with sarcasm. Why is it that the folks that won the last election are so mad all the time? The balance of power is hardly in the heckler's favor. The politician on stage has the microphone and usually a robust security detail. Although in 2015, former U.S. President Donald Trump wasn't very happy with how security was handled at one of his rallies. Regardless, it's hardly a fair fight. The heckler has to scream from the top of their lungs just to be heard and is often outnumbered. But occasionally, a good heckle sparks a meaningful debate. Republican presidential hopeful Mitt Romney, irritated by a handful of hecklers, insisted corporations are people, a comment which would become a defining moment in his campaign. The change in the communication landscape has not only increased the expectation of a response, but often a two-way exchange. A savvy heckler comeback can win over a crowd, while an unscripted outburst may end up negatively affecting the candidate or politician on stage, depending on the circumstances. Susan Tehrani reporting from New York for We On, World Is One.